All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode. Got a beautiful Sunday here in sunny Nairobi. I'm in the 80 series, as you can see. Uh, just came from just came from a function, and we're gonna fill up the 80 now. We're gonna do a real world test. How many kilometers have I got on my on my fuel tank? Because we're just about running totally not totally low now. So I want to measure. We want to go to the pump, see how much. Uh, petrol enters the tank how many liters how much uh, it costs us and then compare that to the number of kilometers that this current tank has given us so I'll just I'll, sh I'll show you the speedo uh, just just about getting to the petrol station so we can try and do this a bit accurately not that I mind so much <laughs> what my fuel consumption is but it would be good to know it would be good to baseline the 80 now that i feel like it is mechanically uh, functioning quite well it's got a automatic transmission rebuild and um yeah so we're just pulling up now to the total energies <clears throat> and we're gonna see we're gonna see what's up All right, guys, so we're here at the petrol station. As you can see, my fuel gauge is almost at empty, but the light hasn't come on yet, and we've done 365 kilometers. There we are, filling it up. So let's see what we get up to. Good old KFC. You know, KFC came to Nairobi like a few years ago, and it just, almost became the most successful restaurant here really really quickly so quite cool stuff but um yeah here we are guys this is parklands in nairobi i'm just here in a little sunday stroll went for went for some prayers and uh so now <clears throat> time to fill up the the big 80 got some uh what does that say this station is solar powered this whole station is solar powered, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll do a video on, on on the fuels of the future because I have I've done a lot of research on that and I have a lot to say on that. So we'll see what you guys think in terms of you know uh, battery electric, hybrids, hydrogen powered, internal combustion hydrogen, gasoline, diesel, biofuels. We can have a conversation on all that it's uh, i guess it's interesting but anyways we're running up on about seven thousand shillings so just passing about 70 70 dollars still filling up let's see what this tank uh, is giving me but you know so far still loving the 80 it's just something different about this car <clears throat> All right, guys, so looks like the fuel tank is just about slowing down. The 80 has taken just about 73 liters. I think it's going to go to about 70, 70, 74. Just about 74, 74.18. Perfect. All right, so 365 kilometers. You've seen where the fuel tank is. And it's drank about 11,800 shillings. So give me a second and we're gonna do the math on that. All right, guys, so just gonna zero this out. As you can see, that tank is still rising. It's gonna go to full. We're, we're all filled up. Before we get into the calculations, which I will tell you just in a second as we as we drive home, I gotta say what you know what's so beneficial about this one FZFE. You know, I own a hundred series, so I've driven the two UZFE, which is of course the V8, uh, wonderful V8, 4.7 liter. But this one FZFE has some very interesting characteristics uh, in terms of an engine. 
you know it's a straight six uh, inline six uh, cylinder 24 valves but it's got really cool benefits it's a very torquey engine it develops a lot of its power in a lot lower in the rev range and so for this car that's why a lot of the time it's very opposite to the Cygnus I mean I mean the 100 series you see the 2UZ as you get higher in the rep range uh, the rev range is where it makes um, you know more of its power um, so you really have to rev the car uh, you know to develop that power and so in, in off-road as well in off-road conditions you you know you really really need to get the car revved up but this 1FZ FE you know it it's such a torquey engine it develops most of its power at you know one two three thousand rpm and so that's why on the lower gears especially that's why this car is always so, sort of you know grunting it's always sort of loud because uh, it's developing that power low down and so it's a very enjoyable sort of as they call it tractor motor um, and that's probably why I guess I, I've gotten so attached to it I mean of course you do get attached to older vehicles it's just something about them you know the fact that it's still going it's still pushing and this vehicle took me on the whole uh, WRC trip you, you, you know you guys know I went to the WRC here in Kenya this year by no means are those easy terrains especially for a you know 25 plus year old vehicle I, I haven't seen anything handle as well as this 80 handled uh, those kind of terrains it, you know it just showed that this is a truck this is the way they used to build trucks you know it was with 200 series it was with the 100 series but this vehicle just handled everything and being this old it's still so comfortable I mean right now we're on tarmac of course it's an absolutely comfortable truck and it's not like I've you know dove into my suspension yet this is still original suspension original shocks which of course are due for a change but still very smooth so anyways let me uh, round this up and, and, and give you those figures. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are guys. Uh, before I give you the figures, I actually did just a bit of DIY stuff this weekend. If you can see the difference in the 80 series. I'll give you one second. It's actually the grill. As you can see, this is a, a turbo grill, even though this is the petrol. Though I like the way this grill looks. But this has been, of course, this has been retrofitted. And I've actually got I, I painted this myself uh black this weekend so i think it's actually giving a much much cleaner look so loving the look of that all right guys so having done the calculations what what we're seeing is actually an average of about five kilometers per liter basically the stats are the car took me 365 uh, kilometers that was what i had on the dash 365 kilometers and we put um, 11,400 shillings of fuel uh, and that gave us an extra 74 liters. So what it meant was that 74 liters took us about 370 kilometers. So if you do the maths on that, it comes out to an average of about 5 kilometers per liter. And you have to keep in mind this is a combined average city and, and highway driving, probably more city driving. So, and, and, and you know, if I was easy, a bit easier on the pedal, you could probably get more so not entirely not entirely bad 365 kilometers from 74 liters and that also tells you that when the gauge reaches empty you've still got about 20 liters in the tank so you've still got a another 100 kilometers so what this tells me is that i should have been able to push out about 470 to about 500 kilometers till that last drop of fuel so the car should be giving me about 500 kilometers on a full 96 liter tank. So that's the maths for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Not too bad. And um, yeah, enjoying the 80 series. Happy Sunday. If you enjoyed, hit like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.